Hello, Union family. I'm Charles with American Workers First. Welcome back to Union Facts Friday. Today we're talking about the air traffic controller strike of 1981. On August 3rd, 1981, almost 13,000 air traffic controllers walked off the job after contract talks with the Federal Aviation Administration collapsed. The Professional Air Traffic Controllers Organization, PATCO, were bargaining for increased wages and work reductions. The controllers complained of difficult working conditions and a lack of recognition of the pressure that they faced. A counter offer by the FAA was almost 20 times less than what the union had sought. President Ronald Reagan branded the strike illegal and threatened to fire any controller who did not return within 48 hours. The strike was technically illegal as federal employees by statute are forbidden to strike. That is directly attributed to the Taft-Hartley Act of 1947, which we have covered previously. Link in the description below. On August 5th, the president carried out his threat and the federal government started firing over 11,000 air traffic controllers who had not returned to work. Additionally to that, a lifetime ban on the rehiring of the striking workers was implemented by the FAA. An interesting fact being that PATCO was one of the few unions that endorsed Reagan during the 1980 election. Go figure. Prior to this, it was not considered acceptable, although it was legal under the current laws, for employers to replace workers on strike. That very public mass termination led to major strikes plummeting after 1981. Reagan's firing of government employees encouraged large private employers like Phelps, Dodge, Hormel, and International Paper to hire striker replacements in subsequent years instead of negotiating in labor conflicts. This was a very clear message that elections have consequences and shows the power of the presidency in labor disputes. The workers and union leaders thought that their prior endorsement would carry weight and protect them from retaliation. They were wrong. Thanks for joining us on Union Facts Friday. If you enjoyed these videos, if you can give us a like and a share, we would really appreciate it. It helps a lot. We'll see you next week. And until then, keep demanding that American workers get put first.